Hey everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this video I thought of talking about 5 coding projects that you can finish in just a single weekend. I'll be talking about what projects I have done in the past so that you get an idea of what can be a great way for you to learn to code by building projects. I think that building projects is the most important thing that you should be focusing on if you are learning to code. It's a lot better if you learn the basics of any technology and then head over to building projects as soon as possible versus learning all the theoretical concepts of any language or any technology. That's what I like to do. I like to learn a technology a little bit and then jump on and build projects and learn along the way. That's the best way for you to learn a particular technology. So now let's talk about the five coding projects that you can start. These are not for particular languages. This is generally projects that I personally have done and what I've learned from them. The first one is going to be to start making some simple games. Whatever language you have learned, you can start building games with the help of that language. I personally started with Python. So my first few games were the snake game, ping pong, hangman, space invaders, you know, Mario game and many other games that were very simple to make but it is really crucial for you to learn about the basic coding concepts. I learned about OOP concept, how to make a simple class, how to create different methods in a class in Python. And then I went over to build a simple Flappy Bird game. And that taught me a lot about how to build simple programs in Python. You need to understand that building games is really fun, first of all, and you also get to practice all the coding concepts. So it's a win-win for both of us, right? So that's what you should keep in mind. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as well if you're learning something from this video. But that was just about Python. I also learned about JavaScript and React. And recently I made this Candy Crush game just with the help of React.js and using some hooks. That was also a great way for me to build a really interesting game that I have been playing for a while now and then actually build it myself and learn about the mechanism of that game. So that's what you can keep in mind when you're building a simple game. You don't really have to learn about game engines to just build some simple games. For example, you have Unreal and you have Unity. Of course, these are some great platforms to build really complicated games really easily. But if you are just learning any language, for example, Java, JavaScript, Python, you can very easily start making games in these languages. That's what I have done in my own past. Now moving on, the next project is going to be to build a machine learning model or a data science project. You need to understand and find out this one data set that interests you the most and not follow the typical data sets. For example, you have the Titanic data set, you have the CIFAR 10 data set, you have the ImageNet data set. These are very common data sets that you can build, which is great for you to get started with. But I would recommend you to take a look at some other data sets available that not a lot of people talk about use these and then try to predict a particular parameter with the help of your machine learning model. For example, I discovered there is something called as PoseNet, which is a pose estimation model that has already been created. I just imported that model and I used it to build a simple web application with which you can detect the poses of someone, right? So uh, your, your elbow, your eyes, your nose, your eyes, uh, your mouth and other body parts you can detect with the help of the PoseNet model. So that's what you can do with the help of that. Just an example I wanted to share with you what I personally made. Now you might be wondering how can you learn data science and machine learning with Python? And that's where you can take a look at this video sponsored DataCamp. DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes acquiring data skills easier and convenient for everyone. DataCamp has over 350 courses on data science with top experts for all levels, if you are a beginner or if you are a pro, you can definitely use DataCamp to become a better data scientist. If you're confused about where to start, DataCamp has a free assessment tool that you can use, which makes it really easy for you to find out the courses that suit you the most. Now you can take a look at this particular course that I liked on DataCamp called as Introduction to Machine Learning, in which Sarah talks about the basics of ML without writing a single line of code, which I think is great for beginners. You can unlock new career opportunities and become data fluent today with the help of DataCamp Camp, you can use my link in the description and get the first chapter of any course on data camp for completely free. And now let's get back to the video. Moving on to the third project that you can create and this is going to be to build a simple visualization of data structures and algorithms that you're already learning. A lot of you are already learning about DSA topics and if you can combine your DSA knowledge with your development knowledge to build a simple website where you can implement these uh, algorithms and you can execute a particular function and you can actually visualize how these things are working. Uh, there are some great websites that do this. You can also try to replicate that and just see how this works. This will be great for you because here you are actually taking away whatever algorithms you have. For example, you are taking a look at sorting algorithms, right? Bubble sort, merge sort, whatever you have. You can try to visualize this 
on an actual website that way other people can also learn about how these algorithms work in the actual real world sense and you can also understand how to execute these things in a web app that's what i would say do take a look at this you might have to learn about javascript and how to write algorithms in javascript but this is going to be a great project that you can get started with moving on to the fourth project that you can create and this is going to be to make a clone of your favorite application. It can be whatever application you're using. For example, you're using YouTube right now. You might want to create a YouTube clone with the help of whatever language you have learned. Maybe you are into app development. Try to make a YouTube clone with your app development skills. Or maybe you're, you are learning web development. So you can take React.js and you can try to make a simple YouTube clone with the help of React.js. Let's say you like to use Instagram or Google or Spotify or Hulu, Netflix, the sky is the limit whatever application you see and you like the interface of how it is made try to replicate that and try to see how can you clone it okay but don't just clone it to just copy it completely try to have your own spin on top of that right so try to think about how can you add another feature to this thing so maybe for example you are looking at uh, youtube for example you can try to integrate a payment gateway in youtube as well so just things like these with the help of Stripe, you can do that or Razorpay, you can do that. And that will teach you to take things a step further and do something that's not actually done in the original project, in the original application. So that's what you can do. Try to clone whatever app you have. I personally clone the TikTok app, Instagram app, you know, YouTube application. I clone the Microsoft website, the Apple website, and many others. This will really teach you a lot about design skills, like how to create visually appealing designs with the help of CSS and CSS frameworks. So that is going to be a great way for you to become a better developer overall. All right, now moving on to the last project that you can make, and this is going to be to make a price comparison website with the help of web screen or with the help of using APIs. If there are no APIs, try to build your own API. Now, this is really interesting because here you will learn about extracting data from someplace and then publishing that or displaying that on your own website. There are a lot of different price comparison websites that you can look at and you can see how they are executing it. You can try to implement a simple search feature in which people can actually search whatever product that they want. When they press on enter, they should be able to see different platforms, for example, Amazon, Flipkart, Alibaba, or other ones, and they can see the prices associated with that as well. They can also click on that and they can buy it with your website. And that would be a great way for you to learn about web scraping as well as using APIs of these pl platforms. So that's what I would recommend. Always make sure that you're shipping your project, okay? Always keep shipping. This is a common quote that, that a lot of developers use. Make sure that you are developing and then shipping, uploading it on App Store, on Play Store, or getting it live, your website on Heroku or you know Firebase or Superbase or whatever platform you're using to host your website, please do that so that you have a public URL or you have an app on these platforms so that people can actually see how it works. This would be great for your resume as well as for impressing the interviewer if you want to get into a job or if you want to get a freelance project as well, right? So that's what I would say. Always think about how to build it. Don't think about the perfect idea for your application, for your project. Just think about whatever applications you are seeing around, try to copy that, and that would be a great way for you to get started, okay? Of course, afterwards, you can try to think about how to make something new, right? That's what I would say. If you're still watching, just say, I watched till the very end. If this video is helpful, please share this video with your friends. That would be really, really helpful. Also take a look at Data Camp if you want to learn about data science and machine learning with the link in the description. That's it from me today. You can take a look at my Instagram and Twitter handles, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.